Hey there, welcome. Today for this pre-recorded class, we're going to have a half hour vinyasa practice, just a little bit of movement when you feel like you're on the run and when you feel like you don't have as much time as you'd like to meet your mat. Just giving yourself a little bit of space to get your body moving, your energy moving, your blood flow, all that kind of stuff. And so um, with yoga, a little always goes a long way. So just a sweet half, da- half hour class is what we're going to work on today. Um, we're going to get started on our back body. No bells, no whistles, just lying down. And in the spirit of finding time within that time, just allowing yourself to have some space to let go of exhales, to feel soft to the mat. We really do have to decide that this is part of our routine, that idea of meeting your body and your breath And so when people say, I don't have the time, I don't have the time, uh, if you brush your teeth, if you comb your hair, if you get out of bed, you can fit in a little bit of time to meet your body with purpose. After all, it's you, you're worth it. You're going to bring your right knee into your chest, interlock your hands at your right shin. Start there with wind relieving pose. Pull in a little bit, pull in a lot, feel the space open up, and then take your breath in and out through the nose into the pockets of space that you recognize in your body. Breath in through the nose, breath out. Extend the right leg long, switch the grip on the hands, interlock at the left shin. And same thing on the other side, although it might not feel the same. Deep breath and in through the nose. And just feeling any pockets of space sensation in the stretch. And trying to direct your breath into that body space. You have the time. Lengthen the legs. Stretch the arms overhead, breathe in, and keep the arms there. Step the soles of the feet to the mat, push into the mat, lift the bum, breathe out. And just feel here for your transition into this variation of bridge pose. Use your upper back body to press down the same way you use your feet to ground down. And then keep your knees more pointing straight to the back of your mat, almost in line with your big toes, almost igniting a little squeeze through the inner thighs and two breaths here. Keep your pelvis, your bum up, bring your arms forward, transition to interlock the hands underneath, and then walk your shoulder blades underneath the center of your back and press down into the arms, elbows, and even the pinky fingers here to get a little more lift. Still breathe in and out through the nose. Still feel a little squeeze through the glutes into the thighs a bit for three, two. As you release interlocked hands, slowly bring the bum down. And then cross the right leg over the left, almost like Garudasana Eagle Pose. You can even bind the right foot underneath the left calf. And then send your arms straight up, fingers looking up to your sky. And bring the right arm under the left and just feel the eagle arms in whatever way they can be. And then pick up the head and the heart. And then pick up the left foot off the mat. And then as you pick up the left foot off the mat, your 
your abdomen right away shines through. Lengthen the left foot, left big toe to the back of the mat. Still hover, breathe in. And then come in, elbows and knees, breathe out. Go long, but hover the left big toe. Hover the head, breathe in. Exhale, come in. Five more. Inhale. Hover the left big toe. Exhale, squeeze in. Inhale, go long. Exhale, squeeze in. Inhale, go long. Exhale, squeeze in. One more. Breathe in. Inhale, go long. Exhale, squeeze in. Unwrap the arms. Put the palms down. Unwrap the legs. Put the soles of the feet down. Take a breath in here. And then push through the hands and the feet. Lift up once through the bum. Little bridge pose. Exhale. Come out of Setu Bandhasana. Bum down. Breathe in. Left leg over the right. Exhale. Stretch the arms straight up. Fingers pointing high. Breathe in. Left arm underneath the right. Exhale. So we're starting to flow that breath. Hover the right foot in the head and then point the right big toe to the back of the mat more and hover. Breathe in, turning on the abs. Exhale, squeeze in. Inhale, go long, but hover the right big toe. Exhale, squeeze in. Five more. Out the nose. Long on an inhale. Out the nose. Long on an inhale. Out the nose. Two more. Hover. Out the nose. Long. Out the nose. Put the head, the heart down. Put the hands down, palms pressed down. Breathe in. Unwrap the legs, soles of the feet. Breathe out, down. Take an inhale here. Lift the bum on an exhale. Press through anything that grounds on the floor. So not only is it the palms, right? It's the feet and it's the upper back and head. Press into the ground. Three, two. Put the bum down, guys. And then bring the knees into the chest. Ooh, hug around the shins. Light squeeze for three, two. Rock and roll. Put your hands behind your knees. So you rock forward and up. Rock down. Swing the legs like you're on a swing. And then as your feet touch the ground when you're coming forward, that's the kind of vibe that you're going to look for to stand up and stretch your arms overhead. When you're ready, stand up on an inhale, arms overhead. Yeah, morning stretch. Exhale, fold, breath out. Ardha Uttanasana, halfway lift. Press through the shins with the hands. Breathe in. Exhale, bow, weight into the fronts of the feet. Breathe out. This is good business. Even if you don't have 10 minutes, you can do this for five. Halfway lift, breathe in. Exhale, fold, breathe out. One more time. Halfway lift, you press the hands to the shins. The shoulders are away from the ears. Long neck. Exhale, fold, breathe out. Stand up, arms high. Inhale. Draw the palms to heart as you slowly turn around to now face the front of the mat. Exhale. Take your time here with hands to heart through an in breath. And then drop the arms down into a complete mountain pose. Exhale. 
And as you stand in your mountain pose, feel the shoulders drop down away from the ears, but feel the lift of the center of the chest and the belly in. Take your arms high, breathe in. Bow down as you tuck your navel in, breathe out. Hands to shin, shoulders back, long neck, halfway up. Listen, walk your hands forward into a down dog with your heels down. Might mean a shorter downward face dog. Breathe in here. Pick up the heels of the hands and push through the fingers, bum back, breathe out. Full inhale, and then round inward your elbows to exhale. Kick your right leg high, breathe in. Put your right knee to right elbow and broad your upper back, breathe out. Kick up on an inhale, point your right big toe down, left elbow, breathe out. Kick up on an inhale, kick, 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 lift a little higher, step to the outside of the right hand, breathe out. Point your right big toe straight ahead, put your left knee down, a little wide through the right foot, arms high, anjane, breathe in. Stretch, stay, breathe out. Full inhale here. Wide through that right foot, grab the left wrist up and over to the right, breathe out. Draw your belly in, feel the left side open for three, two. Come up to center on an inhale. Put the hands down to pick up the back knee and step into plank pose, high push up, breathe out. Full breath in here, full breath out, knees down, and we're gonna chaturanga to the floor, elbows in to hug the ribs, breathe out. Press your shoelaces down, pick up your heart, tips of the fingers down, breathe in, and then kiss the floor, breathe out. Flat hands down, press through the knees, tabletop, Inhale, and then exhale down dog, breath out. Take a full in breath here and a full exhale. Have the time, left leg high, breathe in. Left knee to left elbow, dome the upper back body, breathe out. Left leg high, inhale. Touch your right elbow, dome the upper back body, breathe out. Left leg high and higher, stretch, step to the outside of the left hand, breathe out. Wide step, right knee down. Take your arms high, anjane, inhale, and stay. And where you feel a little pocket of sensation here, right? Through the front of the right hip, through the open here. Maybe you dip down a little more. One inhale. Grab your right wrist up and over to the left, right side open. Pocket of space stretch. It gets deeper into the right hip. Use that depth to meet it with breath. Come up to center, breathe in. Put your hands down, pick up the back knee as you curl your back toes under, step to plank, pose, breathe out, broad the upper back body. Feel your legs engage as you push into the balls of the feet for three, for two, one inhale. Bend the arms, elbows look back, they hug around the ribs all the way down, exhale. Listen carefully, baby cobra, tips of the fingers on the floor, breathe in. Stay here, breathe out. Keep your right leg long and straight, lift the right leg a bit, breathe in. 
Put the right shoelaces down, breathe out. Stay lifted through baby cobra heart, left leg long, left leg lifts, breathe in. Woo, exhale, shoelaces down, breathe out. Stay high through baby cobra, maybe a little higher, arms back, breathe in. Lift both legs long, point the toes inward, breathe out. Three, two, come down, hands down, knees down, breathe into tabletop. And then enjoy this, child's pose, balasana, breathe out. It should make sense to feel for this in the lower back. Come into tabletop, keep the shoelaces down. Inhale. Press through the shoelaces, hover the knees, lift off, and then roll over the toes. Exhale. Two breaths here. Deep inhale and exhale out. Inhale the heels high to bend the legs. Look forward, bum up. Step the right foot forward, pause, breathe out. Come into the tips of the fingers, a little lift, breathe in. Step the left foot forward, breathe out. Halfway lift on an inhale. Bow, fold, this never gets old through the body, breathe out. Stand up, arms high, inhale. Hands to heart, samastiti through the exhale, and then drop the arms down for your mountain. Top of the mat, arms high, breathe in. Exhale, fold, breathe out. Ardha Uttanasana, shoulders away from the ears, long neck. Exhale, step to plank pose, hands flat, balls of the feet, press the floor away. Take an inhale here. Exhale, chaturanga all the way to the floor. Stay kissing the floor, hands down to frame your shoulders. Breathe in. Just lift the shoelaces, both legs long. Breathe out. As you kiss the floor, press the shoelaces down and then lift right leg, left leg, right leg, left leg. Flutter kick the legs in your baby cobra and then add on a total lift of the heart, but gaze to the floor for three, for two, woo, and then put it down, shoelaces curl under, knees lift, thighs strong, bum firm, high your push up, breathe in, down your dog, breathe out. Bend the legs, heels high, look forward, breathe in. Bum tilts up, left foot forward, pause in the lunge, breathe out. Tips of the fingers, table the heart up, inhale. Exhale, right foot steps forward to fold, breath out. Halfway lift on an inhale, big breath in. Exhale, bow, let it go. Stand up, arms high. Maybe a back bend because you've warmed up. Exhale, hands to heart. Arms down, Tadasana. Arms high, breathe in. Fold, breathe out. Ardha Uttanasana, back body strong and straight, belly in. Exhale, step to plank, breath out. Breathe in, broad upper back body, navel in. Bend the arms, elbows, hug the ribs halfway, bend. Chaturanga. Shoelaces down, use the opening through the lower back, shoulders back, belly in, down dog. Full breath in and out. Full breath in and out. Right leg high, inhale. Knee to nose once, exhale. Kick up on an inhale. Two right thumbs, step through, left knee down. Anjane arms, breathe in. Hands to heart, twist over this front leg, breathe out. Hands to heart in the center of the heart as much as you can. And then twist, 
rotating the right shoulder up and back and sliding it down the length of the spine. Full breath in and out. Take your hands down, breathe in. Straighten the back leg, left heel down, warrior two, breathe out. Meat and potatoes of warrior two or high heart, right heel in line with the left arch or left heel. And then deepen the lunge slowly with a lift of the heart and a squeeze of the belly in. Three, two, exalt your warrior on an inhale. Bring your right hand to the inside of your right leg with a bend in your front leg, left arm high. Breathe in and out here. Two, one. Come up to warrior two, breathe in. Straighten the front leg, right toes come in. Breathe out. Take an inhale here, high heart. Fold in with the length of your exhale. Try and get her to last as you bow down. Full breath in. Full fold breath out. Halfway up on an inhale. Walk to the left foot, back of the mat. Exhale, right knee down. Take your arms high, Anjane. Breathe in. Cactus the arms, breath out. Take your arms high, inhale. Exhale the hands down. You're going to straighten the back leg as you curl the back, or straighten the front leg, curl the back toes in. Flex the front foot through this straight leg for three, for two. Take an inhale as you come forward into the lunge. Pick up the back foot. Exhale, heel toe the left foot down the length of the spine. Modified Vashti Stasana, left arm high. Breathe in. And then wave this left arm overhead. Breathe out. Left arm high. Inhale. Put the left hand down. Hook the left ankle behind the right ankle. And Chaturanga, exhale. Upward dog, breathe in. Belly in, down dog, breathe out. Two breaths here. Kick up the left leg, high inhale. Knee to nose once, broad upper back body if you can. Kick up the left leg, high, breathe in. And then step through, breath out. Right knee down, arms high, Anjane, breathe in. Prayer hands to heart, twist over your left leg. Full inhale here, full exhale. Mm. Left rib cage rotating up and back. One more breath in and out. Put your hands down, frame your foot, straighten your back leg, breathe in. Right heel down to point the right toes out, warrior two, breathe out. You don't have to dip quite down just yet. Pick up your heart, squeeze your inner thighs towards one another, and then find the depth of your warrior two. Full breath in and out. Exalt your warrior, left side stretch, breathe in. Out of this reach back, left arm down, inside of the left ankle, right arm high, bent knee triangle. Breathe in and out here. As you're rotating your right rib cage back, you're also sliding your right shoulder blade down the length of the spine. For three. Two, spread your wings. Keep the bend, come into warrior two, breathe in. Straighten the front leg, hands to hips, left toes look in, breathe out. Little different this time, interlock the hands behind the head. Elbows wide, breathe in. 
and then weight into the fronts of the feet, fold slow. Use the weight of the hands on the head to encourage the long of the spine, shoulder blades closer together. Go halfway, stay put, full breath in. Extend your arms out into a T, breath out. So be in the integrity of your navel in for three, for two, weight into the fronts of the feet, but heels stay grounded. Peace fingers grip onto the big toes, wide-legged fold halfway up, exhale forward fold, bow down and pull, elbows wing out for three, for two. Ooh. Let go, halfway lift, breathe in. Walk towards the right foot, which was the front of your mat. It becomes again, breathe out, left knee down. Arms high, unjane, inhale. Cactus the arms, exhale. Ooh. Arms high, breathe in. Tent the hands down. Curl the back toes under to straighten the front leg and fold into Parsavokanasana. Or half Hanuma, I'm sorry. Mm. Half Hanuma, half splits, not Parsa Vokanasana. For three. Really ground in through the right heel. For two. Come forward into the lunge. Pick up the back leg. Breathe in. Hook the right ankle to the left ankle. Chaturanga, breathe out. Upward face dog gets your shoelaces down and your shoulders back. Look forward, not up. Down dog stretch. Two breaths here. Kick the right leg high, breathe in. Knee to the outside of the right wrist, breathe out, pigeon pose. I'm gonna lift up through the heart, table the heart high on an inhale. And then exhale, come down slow and steady. Now in these half hour practices, right, there's Still kind of maybe you're not as, in a way, wet in the juice of your muscles and the flexibility. So maybe you're not going down as far in your pigeon pose. Maybe the lunges and where we've been already are good to go. Maybe you have a practice that remembers this in your body. But there are benefits to doing the poses you always do slightly different anyways. So if you table the heart up, or you proud your pigeon rather than sleep your pigeon. There may be a couple of interesting things there. Coming out of your pigeon pose, first you gotta table your heart high. We are gonna take a modified Vashtistasana on this side because Simone sometimes forgets things. So straighten your back leg. And then step your right foot to the outside of the right hand. And that's going to work your belly. And that's a lunge. Breathe in as you heel toe, heel toe the right foot. Down the length of the mat, halfway right arm high. So you get this in on this side. Bring a right arm high on an inhale. And then reach over head on an exhale. It's a practice, not a perfection. Right hand down, take an inhale, plank, flow, or go straight to down dog if that's what you want to explore. If you're exploring down dog, you might pick up the heels of the hands, go into the pads of the fingers, into the mounds of the hands, and press the hips up and back belly in for three, Woo! for two, doggy love for one, Left leg high, breathe in. Left knee to the outside of the left wrist, pigeon. Set up your pigeon, first table your heart high. Maybe you go halfway to sleep or all the way to sleep. Or maybe you're practicing a variation that's a little less familiar.
And whether you're all the way down or halfway down, you're going to come to table your heart up and find the proud pigeon. Breathe in. And this time we're going to roll to the outside of the left hip. And from the middle of the mat, go long legs wide. And flex your feet to ground a little bit through the heels. And take your arms up in a stretch. Full inhale. Peace fingers. Reach to the outsides of the big toes. Exhale. And start to kind of fold. Actually, let's come back up. One breath in. Arms high. And let's tee out our arms, kind of like we did in that wide-legged fold. Breathe in. And then fold about halfway from where you are right now. Pause. Feel the length of the spine, shoulder blades closer together, then peace fingers. Inhale, lift the heart, ground through the sit bones. Exhale, fold and pull any amount. Lots of people will have a different story on this. Some people are dancers. If you're not a dancer, don't attach yourself to what a dancer might look like doing this. Seriously. Your body, your version, your way, your story. If you're feeling any sensation in through the backs of the thighs, inner thighs, and in towards the groin, this is a great stretch if you're getting some in your back too. And maybe you prop your forearms up like I am. For three. For two. I'm keeping my feet flexed. So that gives me action, action in the legs. Two. One. You're going to walk your hands in to walk your heart up. Breathe in. And then exhale, grab through and behind the knees, bend the legs and draw it in. Lie down on your back body. Find Shavasana. Option to tee out the arms and maybe bend the legs before you get into Shavasana. And then window shield wiper, the knees left to right, right to left. Do that a couple of times through your breath in and out. And then extend the legs long when you're ready for that Shavasana. Letting the insides of the feet be more exposed to the sky. Maybe bringing the arms a little closer to the side body but not zipping it up against the side body. Breathing space at the armpits. And so it's just a little goes a long way. But no doubt, our body and our lung capacity and our calm, just so much better for it. Whether you have a practice of meditation, whether you have a practice of movement, movement meditation as we just did, this idea of taking the time to meet your breath, the same way you take the time to brush your teeth and comb your hair. And the cool thing about having these shorter practices, these half hour, 45 minute practices are you can meet your Shavasana for as long as you want even more so is that possibility. So if you have any kind of time about you today, make sure to put it towards this final Shavasana. Hey now, thanks for joining. We'll see you on some of the live classes or you can continue to uh, look on the channel for other recorded classes. 
Either way, it is my pleasure to be with you. Lots of love. Namaste.